Today, in Ark Survival Evolved, I have placed 100 players in the middle of a desert to simulate civilization. They'll have to endure the scorching sun, unforgiving heatwaves, and deadly dinosaurs of the desert. They're also split into three tribes of 30, the Oasis, the Badlands, and the Dunes. Each team must battle it out to be the last one standing. But what the players didn't know is that I have placed a mysterious non-friendly fourth tribe in the center of the map, who eventually caused some serious chaos and mayhem for all the others, so it won't be easy for anyone. Welcome to the ultimate 100 players deserted civilization simulation experiment. Just to make spawning in a little bit easier, I decided to give each of the three teams a small start out to each of their obelisks, and so they spawned. The blue ob team, otherwise known as the Dunes, were doing pretty well. They spawned in in their little start house and they began taming things. Hell yeah, we killed it! We did it! They managed to get a dead on tamed and they were going pretty good. But the Dunes did lose a lot of their players as they spawned in the most dangerous area of the map. The Green Obelisk team, otherwise known as the Badlands, were doing really well. They spawned in a relatively safe area, so they had a nice little crafting area set up, as well as a ladder that led up to a massive stone monument in which they would build on later in the future. Metal is getting smelted, fellas. Um, if people don't have desert cloth, there's some pieces of it in the thing. Now we go over to the Oasis, which is the Red Ob team. Now, they decided not to go in my start house, but go on the land by themselves. Wait, I, no, no, actually guys, whoever has metal tools, just go out and get more metal. And so that was their main goal, to go out with metal tools and get more metal. The Oasis were an okay team, but they did at least tame a few animals, which was pretty good. Do you remember about the mystery tribe in the center of the map? Well, it's a group of 10 natives. These people have been living here for 200 years and they worshipped an ancient mech and they just discovered other teams were trespassing on their land. <laughs> the native leader, King Uga, was not happy, so he decided to talk. King Uga sent the natives on a scouting mission to go find some bases of these enemy tribes. But you wouldn't believe what they found. It's Raid Shadow Legends, one of the most popular and exciting mobile games on the market. Raid is completely free to play and it has millions of players from all around the world playing right now. Raid also offers billions of customization options, meaning you can create a truly unique experience. But what does Raid stand for, you may ask? Well, this is exactly what Raid stands for. R is regular updates and content. There's always new stuff coming to Raid, so you'll never even have to think of getting bored while playing. A is an arena to test your strength against other players and fight to the death to see who is the strongest of all. I is an immensely satisfying battle system, so you have the pleasure of taking down those stinky enemies with satisfaction. D stands for Demon Lord, a clan boss which is a massive challenge and an insane way to earn powerful daily resources like shards and gems, as well as teaming up with your friends to defeat the ultimate clan boss, so you can team up with the group and play Raid. Oh, and by the way, Raid Shadow Legends is celebrating its 4th anniversary, which means that you, as a new player, can get insane bonuses by using the link in my bio. And since it's Raid's birthday, the gifts keep coming. All new players and existing players can get a bunch of free birthday gifts. Once you're in game, after clicking on the links, just enter the promo code 4 years Raid to get your hands on 4 legendary skill tomes, plus other useful stuff as well. So, what I suggest you do is join the millions of players around the world and start playing Raid Shadow Legends today. Use the link in my bio to get started and take advantage of these amazing bonuses. Anyway, back to the video. If you go into tribe log right now, half of the screen of redness is just us dying. The Dunes had lost a bit of their team, however, they'd captured a Rex. Whoa, nice! They managed to knock it out and eventually tame it, which was great as this was the first big tame by any of the teams. Mario! What? The native tribe had ran into the oasis' base, so they went straight to it. Uh, boys, we need fucking walls. We need walls, nah. The natives decided just to give the oasis a scare, but not to attack. Over at the Badlands, progress was going great. Let's just sit up here, play defensively, 
And then when the time is right, when we get a, have a bunch of shit that we can breed and stuff, we just uh, launch an attack. They had sent a few of their players to go out and try tame some animals, as well as going out for a raptor. Right, I'm gonna go 120. It's a 120, 120. Oh the yes, we need this, we need this. I've got another bowler, so we can bowler it again if it gets out of this somehow. The Badlands had a breeding line of very high level raptors, but the natives weren't finished. They were at their base and they were planning something. The Badlands were just doing their best work, taming some animals and bringing it back to the base. But their base up top wasn't finished, and the natives were out for a scout, looking for more teams to attack and destroy. The natives arrived in a line and tried to show their authority. In the fuck? Why is there, why is there a bunch of fucking thiles at our base? Dude, there's like 10 thiles here. Don't fucking belong to us, guys. Again, the natives didn't feel ready to attack. Over at the Oasis, they had stayed in their spot and they decided to build a pretty big base. It was actually going pretty well for them and they'd also tamed some animals. But the Dunes had different ideas. I do know the place where to live. You, oh, you guys just have to trust me. One of the players of the Dunes had led them out to an abandoned base in which they'd build. This place is very good. It, it's a good place. The Dunes had started construction on a really hidden place of the map. It'd be hard for any team to find them when the borders drop. After the scare from the natives, the Badlands had upped their game. We, we, need, we need to accelerate like base defenses and taming and stuff. They had made huge spikes on the outside of their castle, and they were doing well. But the native tribe wasn't having it. They went again for an attack this time. But when they did arrive through the bottom of the Badlands' base, they found something they did not want to see. The Badlands had tamed an almighty Rex, and in no way did the natives want to attack this thing. So King Ugo called them and told them to turn around and the natives ran off through the thunder, trying to escape the Rex. I then told each of the three teams to host an election to elect a leader, and the Oasis went first. I was born at a very young age, and I learned some things in life that I'm not afraid of death. I know none of you are afraid of death. I know we lost some members along the way, but if you elect me, I'll make sure nobody else has to die. Yeah! After that enthusiastic speech, up came the next. I'm going up, I've got a speech. I've got a speech. It seemed like Donald Trump was playing Ark, so up he came to try get elected. Okay, my fellow Americans, if you elect me as president, we're going to get the Badlands, which are the Democrats, and we're gonna kill them all, we're gonna make them go under our boot. No more death, no more taxes. I am President Donald John Trump. They tried to steal the election from me once, I'm not gonna let them do it again. I'm telling you now. That is an amazing Elect me speech. Donald John Trump. That is my speech. Go Hi, America. Sorry. The Badlands had been busy at work. They had built a huge base with gates and loads of spikes as well as a castle on top of the hill. They were trying to defend from the natives next attack and they were doing really well. The natives, though, weren't planning a next attack. They'd studied the other teams and figured how to make fire. Now we go back to the Badlands. If you want to be leader, line up next to the throne. Yeah, line leader. up next to the throne, go. Gotta get in line. Speed it on. They began lining up and getting ready. Alright, I vote pasta. Five guys vote pasta. voting, yeah? Hey, everyone, Never everyone say here. I. Say I if you vote pasta to be leader. I. Oh, I. Just make it I. simple. I. 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 Pasta, you're the new leader. You're the new leader, pasta. Yay! Good election, Take everyone. On your throat. All right, everyone, back to work. That. Back to work. We got shit to do. No, I thought we were supposed to do an election. <laughs> What the fuck? And so their leader was decided, Pasta, a man that was a very good PvPer and had played in all the previous events. Now for the third candidate of the Oasis. Ladies and gentlemen, we've lost a couple of us. So, we have many enemies. We shall take them out. Don't vote for Negan. He's a Democrat. Negan is a communist social Democrat. Don't vote for him. I mean, Fuck we are Democrat. Communist. We're starting communism again. Communism. Okay. Communism. We've got yeah. Joseph. Yes. I'm sorry, Donald. I'm sorry, Donald. <laughs> Rick, I'm calling for a recount. 
<laughs> I'm sure you'll win next time. And so Jamids was elected leader. Over at the dunes, they have built a spectacular base. They had a large election podium, they had loads of gates, and they were looking really good and powerful. They also had a water irrigation system that would help them in future. One of the native members, however, had spotted a player from the dunes lurking in the distance, and so he called upon his tribe. Alright, let's start Wait. with Sausage. Sausage, you go first. Okay. Hello, splendid people of our tribe. I, I believe that together we, the people of this tribe, can thrive and feast upon the people. Right. We can win uh, this. Uh, we uh, can uh, kill them all. Okay, yeah. feast among the people. As the dunes were doing their election, the natives were lurking nearby. I would like to say that we should spam rock golems everywhere and commit communism. I have that a was question. my speech. I agree with that. Do I, I get... agree with communism. Yeah, I, I agree with communism. Communism. Yeah. Communism. Yeah. communism. Yeah. communism. And so the Junes' leader was elected, being our second communist empire after the Oasis. But there was a little surprise outside their base. The natives had arrived, and they weren't happy. <laughs> the dunes rushed to battle stations. Oh yeah, they're coming to our base. They're coming to our base. This is bad. <laughs> this is really bad, actually. Oh, I didn't think this was going to go down. I did not know this was Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> The dunes were actually very, very powerful, and the natives had no idea about this. The dunes had really fast wolves, which were running down the natives. They're running away. They're oh, running. that water's super low. They're running away. Oh. At this point, the natives had to retreat. Oh, some guys on foot. Some guys on foot. And he was chasing you. One of the members was split from the tribe, and he was on his own. We killed one. Oh, we killed one. Oh, let's let's attack this. Let's finish this while we can. And so the Junes members decided to pressure the natives even more. Are we actually going to win this? Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, exactly. we're already at war. Luckily, they managed to escape up the wall with Vicolios. <laughs> the reason for the Junes doing so well is they had players on really fast wolves. And now the Junes had set up the most powerful civilization on the server. Even the natives didn't want to touch them one bit. But I thought the players were off way too easy, so I ordered a massive heat wave to go across the entire map to heat up all the players, make all their food and water insanely low. So the Dunes' fastest response was to make as many tents as possible to try and get inside and keep as cool as possible. Over at the Oasis, they were in a really bad state. They had only a few tents and their base was made out of adobe, so you might ask why didn't they go inside there? Well. It was completely unfinished, the roof wasn't even on there, so even if they were inside, they'd boil to death. The Badlands didn't like the heat wave very much. Make a household of adobe, we were going to die. Yeah. It's like, I'll go uh, grab some adobe and It's going to it. be hideous. Oh wait, we need, <laughs> desert. we need desert armor, it's gonna be heated as fuck. And so, I decided to end the heat wave, as the natives were going for the Oasis's base one more time. Battle station, battle station. Yeah, they're coming. One's on a thylo, they just passed me. So what do I get on? Just ready. like something. Get ready, everybody, get out of car. Oh, 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 oh my god, it's a Yuri! What? Holy shit! They have a Yuri and a bunch of thylos! Everybody hold your ground! The natives brought their UT, and this was the best planned attack I've ever seen. They went straight in there and killed every single one of the Oasis's dinos. And so as the natives completely destroyed Oasis Thames, they ran back to their base. But some of the Oasis members managed to get inside the base and managed to survive. There's actually nothing we can do if they come back, because like they killed every single thing we had, no effort. The few remaining players had literally no idea what they were going to do, but they just had to do something. Back over at the natives, they'd been learning from all these tribes, and they discovered flame arrows. One of the natives had also discovered artwork, which impressed the group. Oh. 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 
but their leader, King Uga, had asked them to line up as he had a very serious speech in mind. What? <laughs> King Uga knew that some of the Oasis members were still alive inside their base, so he ordered half the team to go out on Thycolios and attack, whereas the other half would stay in the base and defend their god Meg. <laughs> they then scaled the walls of the base. Yeah, they're climbing up the base. Up. They're climbing up the base. No, like they're all. Every single one of them is on the roof, just looking at me. The native tribe then asked me to make some negotiations for them. <laughs> the natives then asked me to tell the remaining Oasis members that if they were to come outside the front door of their base and surrender, they wouldn't be killed. But that's not what happened. The natives went completely against what was agreed upon. They ended up killing both the Oasis members, but this didn't go as they had planned, as some of the members of the Oasis had still been inside the base, and they were waiting inside there to see what the natives would have done when they surrendered. And now, the rest of the Oasis knew the natives were just tribals that couldn't be trusted. You remember that ancient god that the natives worshipped? Well, they've had this for hundreds and hundreds of years, but they're nowhere near smart enough to figure out how to use it. So the Badlands, as they hated the natives, decided to do something. So what we'll do, we'll have we'll have the group, we'll have the group just distract the whole of the natives and then one person go in. They plan to steal the natives' god. I'm in, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in. I claimed yes. it, I claimed it. Nice. I'm in, I'm in, I'm in. Go, 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 go. Guys, we have the mech, we have the mech, we have the mech. The Badlands had managed to get the mech out of the Oasis' base and run it off straight back to their base. They were now a really powerful tribe, and they would use this to their advantage to scare the other tribes. But what the Badlands didn't realize is they had just killed all of the natives. The natives no longer wanted to live, as their god, they'd been worshipping for years, was just stolen and taken from them. Oh. They thought that without their god to worship, all that they have done was completely useless. So, they did what they thought was best. <coughs> And that was the end of the native tribe. They had lived here through ancestors for hundreds of years, building their base and settlements. But now, as these new people have arrived, they have been ended. And now we join a call between the Oasis and the Badlands trying to negotiate. They just destroyed everything. This whole yard was filled to the brim with tames and they're all gone. How it's many desperate. players do y'all have left? We probably have about eight. Here's what we're gonna do. If this treaty's gonna work, we can't go attacking each other. We're essentially gonna give you guys some like momentary protection so you can get yourself back on your feet and like tame some stuff. And so there was an alliance between the large Badlands and the small Oasis. But first, I, I, built built in one clip. I, I, I gotta brag to my friends that I was on a YouTube video, you know? I gotta have bragging rights. Whoever this was, I now officially give you bragging rights of this video. They're here. They're, they're here. Game time. Wait, 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 wait. What's happening? Enemy advantage. Coming towards the Rexes. It seems the Junes had finally made their attack. The last two big teams had started their war. I got his bleed. I got the bleed on him. I got the bleed on him. Yeah, I got a bleed on the wall. The Badlands, with the Oasis as backup, began killing all of the Junes members. And it was not looking good for the Junes at all, even though they were very prepared. I killed I killed, I, 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 I killed I killed their wolf. I killed their wolf. I killed one of their wolves. I love how we went from having the most people to having like two. The Junes, very quickly, as they were so unorganized, began dying left and right. Oh, boys, I'm, I'm in trouble, I'm in trouble. Oh, boys, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. And so the last Junes player remained. Unfortunately, he was killed on foot by the Badlands Rex. And this meant the Badlands had won the events. After fighting very well, they decided to make one final appearance to you guys in the video. The Badlands' final words were, you should subscribe. And also, if you do want to play in these events in future, join the Discord below, and it's for PS players only. However, over on the other side of the map, there was one man left. This was a native player that managed to survive the fall, and he was living all by himself in his last peaceful life. <laughs>